Hey everybody, Jonathan here from Glitz and Glam TV Productions. And in one of my previous videos, I talked about vlogging on a budget, and then I also mentioned about production cameras and why you would use uh, a production camera, when the time is to use one, and when is it time to use a more simpler camera. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Sony HXR MC2500, which is one of my production cameras. This camera is a bit clunky, and uh, Jimmy, come on out here a second. Let me, let me move off to the side so we can get Jimmy in here. Separate a little bit over here, Jimmy. So Jimmy is going to be my assistant in this video, and you're going to see why in just a little bit, because it's kind of hard for me was one person to make this video. Because in a second here, I'm going to step off and we're, going to, we're actually going to switch out cameras. Right now, we are actually on the Sony HXR MC2500, MC which is a great camera. I'm sure you're seeing the quality. So you're seeing the quality of that camera right now. Uh, so in a minute, I'm going to switch out cameras and we're going to take a look at what this camera looks like and how it functions. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I switched cameras. I'm back again, and uh, where's where's my assistant at? Where's Jimmy? Say, hey, Jimmy. Hello. This is Jimmy, my assistant, and uh, like I said, you're going to see in a second why I need an assistant. But uh, let's take a look at the camera. So once again, this is the Sony HXR MC2500. Look at that thing. It's beastly, right? So when you were asking me, when you were asking me, uh, well, you weren't really asking me. I was just talking to you on the vlog. But you know, we talked about this and 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 how like when it comes to uh, video production, when it comes to vlogging, especially vo vlogging on a budget, you don't, you would not want a camera like this. This camera is great at what it does. I mean, the the really the powerful part of this camera is. Um, and this is why this beats out, like say the consumer cameras, is that this has a powerful zoom on it, and the zoom, the quality, when when uh, the picture quality when zooming in is just absolutely beautiful. I use this for um, the channel that I produce, KRVSR Productions. I do this. I use this for the close-up shots. And while this camera is capable of much more than just that, than the close-up shots, I uh, I take advantage of its powerful zoom so you might be wondering why do I need an assistant well I'm gonna tell you why in a second because one thing I didn't mention about this yet is that it is also a shoulder mount camera let's take a closer look look at this that's designed to be on your shoulder and most of the times believe it or not when I use this I'm not using it on a tripod I'm using it um, on my shoulder because I the camera that I'm using right now to film now um, is usually on the tripod I use that as the wide shot uh, now like I said why this while this camera is perfectly great for doing wide shots and all kinds of shots I use it for the close-ups because of its powerful awesome zoom this camera sits on your shoulder like this. Now this, is, this makes this a great documentary style camera, an ENG camera, um, and also for shooting events. Um, if you were to shoot weddings, anything, I mean, you could definitely, and with the zoom, this, this is definitely great for that. I really just love the versatility of this camera and what it can be used for. Uh, I'm definitely going to use this a lot more in other productions other than just close-ups. While it does close-ups very well, I think that um, I'm definitely underutilizing the power of this camera because it's absolutely beautiful. See, right now I'm, I'm uh, recording Jimmy recording me. How weird is that? He doesn't even realize he's being, he's, he's being filmed right now. I'd say hi, Jimmy. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I can't, uh, so this is what I was talking about when I was saying that if I was vlogging on a budget, I'm, I'm not going to drag a, well, even if I wasn't vlogging on a budget, I'm not going to drag a camera like this out. This is just impractical. I mean, how silly is it? And like, if you know, when you do vlogging, you do selfie shots, right? So 
am I going to do this? <laughs> am I going to vlog? Like, how silly does that look, right? No, every camera, like, like I said in the one video, every camera, cameras are like tools, you know, and in um, a toolbox, you have many tools and certain tools are, are meant for certain jobs. The camera that Jimmy has in his hands is the Canon EOS M100 and it's great for what he's doing right now with it. It's, it's a very light camera, it's very portable, easy to move around, it's sitting on the, the vlogging stick and, and you can just take it anywhere with relative ease. This camera, great, great at what it does, it's great for productions, but you're definitely not gonna like stuff this in your pocket or a little duffel bag and, uh, and just be able to take it out. And it's definitely, um, this camera, a camera like this is gonna drag a lot of attention. Okay, which is not what you want a lot of times when you're vlogging because people do tend to, to freak out when they see cameras and they automatically think, oh my gosh, I'm on TV. Uh, some people might think it's cool, but others get actually, um, they freak out and they panic and they get very defensive and, and they, uh, they even get aggressive about it, you know, because they don't want to be on camera. So... I am going to include with you uh, some footage from this camera so that you can get a better idea of the quality, but I'm pretty sure you got it. Okay, everybody, so that concludes this video. It wasn't really a review of the camera, uh, obviously, because I didn't really go into the functions of the camera and how actually it all works. It was really just to kind of give you a rundown of one of my production cameras and the, the practicality and use of them, knowing what cameras are for and that not all cameras are created equal it's kind of like a tool if you need to hammer in a nail you're not gonna you're not gonna pull a wrench out of your toolbox well it's kind of the same thing vlogging when you're vlogging you you're not going to use a camera like this but let me know in the comments what you think about the image quality because i think it's absolutely beautiful which is one of the reasons why i love using this camera so much Stay tuned at the end. I'm going to include some footage of this camera and show you how beautiful it is and how beautiful the zoom is. So I'll catch you guys later on the next video and enjoy this beautiful weekend.